Hey guys, Zach here. After seeing how popular my How to Make a Minecraft Server video got, I decided, hey, why not make a video on how to make a bucket server? Now, for those of you that don't know, a bucket server is basically an advanced Minecraft server. So it adds things, when well, the main thing it adds is plugins. Plugins are basically add-ons to your Minecraft server that enhance the experience. Uh, also help with you and others. Um, I'm going to be teaching you the basics. This is going to be uh, maybe six, four to six parts. I'm going to show you what you need to get it started in this video, and in later videos I'm going to explain plugins and things like that. So first thing you need to do is you need to make a folder, like we always, like we did in the last video, a server, uh, a folder. It doesn't matter what it's titled. Um, I just titled my Microsoft server T T for tutorial. Um, first thing you're going to want to do. You're going to open up your preferred browser. I already have everything good. Um, and you're going to go to you're going to want to go to this right here. I'll put the link in the description. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do on this is I'm assuming you're going to come over here to recommend a build. You do not want to get that because that's 1.4.7 does not work for 1.4.1.5.1. 1 so what you're going to do is you're going to get the very first version that's 2755 currently and you're going to click the download and once you download that you're going to click save as or if you're using chrome just save it and then open it up um, and then save it to your desktop okay so what you're going to do now is you're going to minimize your browser and you're gonna have a jar fo folder. Now this is important. You're going to rename your f uh, your jar folder to craft bucket. Just craft bucket jar. Otherwise, the startup script won't work, and we'll get to that later. So you're gonna want to get this craft bucket jar, and you're gonna put that inside your Minecraft server, um, your Minecraft server folder. Um, what you're gonna do now is do not click on this okay not at all you're gonna go to this website you don't have to if you're using windows just do what i do um... i'll put the link to this in the uh, description below too and depending on which one you're going to use you're going to copy and paste you're going to copy this uh... the code that it gives you and you're going to open up your minecraft server the, uh, the, uh, your minecraft server folder you're going to do new you're going to make a text document you're going to it doesn't matter what you name it because we're going to change it anyway um, you're going to open that up and you're going to paste the code that it gave you then this is a really important to getting your minecraft server started you're going to click save as and then you're going to title it run dot bat run dot bat right here are you in dot bat i have to tell i know and my, you might get annoyed by this but this is a really important step so now you're going to delete the uh new doc the text document and you're going to double click run dot bat and this will pop up now what you're going to do is you're going to wait for this to load and it has a few levels to generate. It's got th three, I believe. Zero, one, and two. Okay, so first thing I want to show you. It, this right here where it says warning. Warning, warning. Do not worry about those. The server files are loading. Next thing, it'll say done. And then it'll give you seconds. And that's just saying how long it took to generate the worlds and things like that. Um, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, don't worry about that either. Don't worry about that either, because that's just my computer. It might not say it for yours, depending on how yours is. Anyway, now what you're going to do is you're going to type STOP, just like we did in the last video. Stop. And you're going to type stop, and it's going to stop the server. It'll say saving chunks for all the levels, and then you're gonna it's going to say press any key to continue. You're going to hit enter, and it'll close it up. Now, we have all these folders. I'm only going to go over the ones I didn't go over and the, the new ones. I'm going to show you the new ones. Okay, I've already went over that. I already went over that. I already went over this, this, and this. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is, next is listen to what I say. 
this right here is your main world, or level zero. This is your nether, and this is the end. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'll show you in a video how to, if you don't want your world, if you already have a world made from an, your old server and you want to switch it over to this one, I'll show you how to do that. Next, uh, next thing is, don't worry about this. Don't even mess with it. Um, don't mess with this. And don't mess with this until later. Server properties. Do you guys, it's, <laughs> I already showed you this in my last video. Um... But, um, yeah, it's basically all of this. Um, something I did do wrong in my, um, last video is message of the day is not just something that pops up as they log on. It's also the description of your, um, server when people find it. So, yeah, that's all I want to say about that. Um, but yeah, that's all you need to know about those for the most part. So, next step, what you're going to do is you're going to open up this right here. It's called plugins. You're going to open up plugins. And then you're going to open up your browser, and you're going to go, you're going to want to get these three things. I would also recommend a plugin called Big Brother to prevent griefing. Um, I'll go over that in another video. Um, so, these are the three main plugins that you're going to need. And this being, this and this being the most important, this is just for the building part. So, here's the first thing I'm going to go over. I'm going to go over permissions X. Or I'm not. I'm gonna go over all of these later in other videos. That's why this is gonna be blah parter, blah parter, whatever. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna download all of these, all three of them, by clicking download, and download again when it brings you to the second page. And I'll come back when I'm done downloading all these. Once you're done with that, you could just close out your internet browser because you're not gonna need it anymore. Keep your plugins folder open while you're doing this. Just minimize it. So, what you're going to do now is you now have these three new zip folders. Normally, what I'd tell you is you would bring the zip folder and place it in here, but that's not what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. You're going to right-click, and you're going to click Extract All for all of these, and you're going to extract it. And it'll create a new folder with all the things you need. And then you can delete the zip folder. I'm going to do this with all of them, and then I'll come back. Okay, once you have them all extracted, you should have three open folders. Um, one called Essentials, one called World Edit-555, depending on what version it is, and you ha should have a Permissions X folder. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to open up each of these. And you're going to pull them all up. I'm going to bring these down, bring this down, and... Bring this down, and I'm gonna put them on top of each other. Okay, then you're gonna open up your plugins, and you're gonna pull that over. So here comes the um, part to get your plugins working. You're gonna take anything that is a dot jar, and you're gonna drag it over into your folder. All you need is the dot jars. No matter what else anybody tells you. All you need is the dot jars. That's it. Nothing else. So now what you're going to do is you're going to close out all three of these folders that had the dot jars in them. And you're going to open up your plugins folder. Now, what you want to make sure is you want to make sure they're all jar folders, okay? Make sure they're all jar. And then you're going to back. And you're going to click run.bat twice. And all of these new things, see Essentials Chat, Chat Manager, Essentials prote Protect, and World Edit, Chat Manager, all these, basically all these new plugins are installing themselves onto uh, your server. And yeah, that's how that works, and you're just going to type stop. And it, once it saves all the chunks, you're going to enter, and then that's it. Um, that's all I'm going to go over in this video. I'll be going over these um, plugins a little bit later. And yeah, if you guys have any problems with setting it up, let me know. I'll help you out as much as I can. If you want to, you can try on my the look on my Twitter. At, uh, I'll put it in the description. But yeah, that's basically all you need to know. Um, getting it started for your basic server. And I'll go over all three of these plugins in another video. Peace.